the render network just added the latest flux context models for text to image and image to image generations. And I'm going to show you how to use them. First, let's jump over to the text to image and select flux from the generator dropdown menu. We'll add a prompt and select our normal settings like aspect ratio, image generation count, but when we click on the model dropdown, we'll see the context pro and the context max. Here's a quick breakdown on these two models. And you'll have to try them both out because you may find the Pro to be slightly better with a bit faster generation at a lower cost. But I'm going to select the max to really flex the prompt coherence here. Next we have the seed value, which I'm going to set to 1 because this is a very handy feature that I'll show you how to utilize here in a minute. I'll toggle the safety tolerance all the way up just so I don't flag anything arbitrarily through this prompt. And then I'm going to click generate. For the sake of comparative analysis, I'll run another set of 4 on the Context Pro model. Now that we have both sets finished, we can see that the seed numbers in the top left have a few corresponding qualities between the two sets, with some of the color grading and the overall image tonality. The seeds are important numerics that you can use to help guide consistency down the road towards an overall look and feel. And with these context models, it's always beneficial to hold the same seed if you're looking to push visual alterations from one image to another, with minimal adjustments to the rest of the image. The seeds themselves numerically increase with each generation, so if you have seed 1 selected in your prompt, when you generate 4 images, your seed values will be 1 through 4. To mitigate the seed deviation, you simply choose single iteration, and then you'll always have the same seed. If you use the same input image, the same prompt, and have the same seed, your results will never change. So let's click on the recycle button and try to adjust the image with a new prompt to the same seed value. Vintage purple trophies on the shelf is the new prompt. And this model does a great job at content evaluation from the image and the prompt along with the same seed, so let's see what we get. We get a similar image, similar framing, and overall look and feel, but the purple trophies. Some things to consider here are that we use the same seed and same image well, but we really didn't give much context to the alterations as we should have, and that's why we get a lot of new information. I found one of the best ways to mitigate that is if you really, really want close information with only specific alterations, to use a prompt like this. Keep everything the same but alter X. In this next example, I said keep everything the same but make the trophies purple. And everything is very, very close to the source image with purple trophies. Let's do the same thing with color temperature. Keep everything the same but with cooler lighting temperature. Now let's try warm lighting. And you can see the pattern. We're effectively mitigating a lot of the deviation through the prompt, the same seed, and the same source image. These are great all-around models, and I'm excited to see people use it for iteration edits and just really interesting ideas. So hop over to render.x.io and start using the latest Flux Context models today on the Render Network.